We welcome you back to Longhorn Weekly from here at Fluckers, the West Campus location, along with head coach Shaka Smart and a member of this Longhorn basketball team. Always leave the introductions to Shaka because he's, he's, he's been so uh, intimately involved with these guys throughout the recruiting process and bringing them on campus and getting to know them so well. So, Shaka, the introduction is yours. We have uh, one of our great freshmen, Royce Ham, who uh, played uh, a, a really good amount of minutes last night, got some phenomenal experience, and is going through this, this uh, a challenging up and down freshman year that most of these guys go through and is learning so much had, had, a, had a great first semester and uh, now that he's in his second semester has his feet under him a little bit better and starting to play a little bit more and more for our team we're really excited about it. I, I was really amused by the fact you guys were talking during the break when you, you asked him if he was nervous and you said what Royce not as nervous as I thought I would be yeah yeah that, that, it, so what goes through your mind having, you know, coming along and playing some limited minutes, and now coach is going to ask you to play some extended minutes and really be able to contribute. Uh, just come in and play with an open mind. Don't try to think too much and don't try to do too much outside my role. Just play and do what Coach Smart wanted me to do and what the coaching staff wanted me to do and what I do every day in practice. Did he do that well, the way you guys uh, want him to he, approach it? The <laughs> thing that I love about Royce is <clears throat> he's the opposite of – uh, probably the, the, the thing that I struggle with the most as a coach and have a hardest time with, and, and that's when players have a level of apathy or, or guys are apathetic. Royce really cares, uh, and, and I think that that is such an unbelievable first step for young guys is just to have a level of care and concern about your teammates and about winning and about this right here and about who you represent. Um, so the next step for him is gaining a comfort level, knowing that he wants to do so well, so badly, uh, but having a comfort level to go out there and play his game. You're talking about a guy that scored 50 points multiple times in high school. So, I mean, he can do a lot of things that Longhorn fans haven't seen yet. Obviously, this is a jumping competition that he's still getting used to. Okay, so what, what did you see in Royce in high school other than those multiple 50-point 50, 50 games at Aldine Davis? What were the things that, they, that really struck you about him? Well, he's a multidimensional player. You know, Royce is a guy that can do a lot of different things on the floor. He can really rebound. He's a great athlete. Um, he actually is a good shooter. Now. <laughs> we're, we're still working with him on what shots to take and when to take them and the comfort level. But, I mean, in high school, particularly his junior year, actually yeah. more so than his senior year, he made a lot of threes. Uh, so he's just a multidimensional forward who can play away from the basket. He's rugged, so he can do some things around the basket and really good rebound as well. All right. So, Royce, what was it that appealed to you about Texas, but also about Coach Smart and the coaching staff? What, what really caught your eye and your attention about Texas and about Coach Smart? Uh, just coming up here, I, I visit probably like three, four times, and he just made me feel real comfortable. You know, it was like when I got here, the coaching staff, along with Coach Smart, and also the teammates, like, we got several teammates from Houston as well, so they made me feel comfortable, and it was just like a home away from home for me. So I really trust Coach Smart, and I trust the team, and I trust the coaches, so it was like, why not? <laughs> now, we talk quite a bit about freshman adjustment, Shaka, and, it's, and, it, and it is difficult, but not just from the basketball perspective, because a lot of folks do, don't take into account all of the life changes and all of those things, as well as the academic load and all that stuff that goes into being a college freshman. It was quite a bit, you know, I, I call it the incubation period that these guys go through, and <clears throat> it's different for each player. You know, everyone goes through their own journey, their own, we say, run your own race. Yes, sir. I think for Royce, he's done a very, very good job of coming in and not trying to be someone that he's not. He has so many great qualities about him that we want him to bring out of himself instead of trying to be, you know, this guy or that guy. And that's hard, you know, when you're a young guy coming into college because – you see certain guys having success, whether it's in your program or in other programs as freshmen, and you say, well, I want to be like them. Uh, but the journey may not, may not be the exact same for Royce. I, I think Royce, before it's all said and done, has a chance to be a phenomenal player at UT and, and, and win a lot of games. All right, we're going to visit more with Royce Ham Jr. coming up when Longhorn Weekly with head coach Shaka Smart from Eric Pluckers. The West Campus location continues in a moment. Top of the arc. 
against Webster. Now to Coleman on the left side, trying to drive inside. Ten on the shot clock. Heels back with a pass to Davis. He'll step back, shoots another three. Good! Eric Davis knocks down another three. The Longhorns are within two at 55-53. That was part of the comeback for the Longhorns last night. Eric Davis with the three and Texas fighting back. Royce Ham Jr. played a, a lot of minutes down the stretch of that and in overtime with us as well. Our uh, conversation with our guest each week is presented by ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. So, Royce, we talked about the, the adjustments that you have to make. We heard uh, Coach talking about it. He said the incub incubation period. What about for you as a freshman, all the things that you have to adjust to basketball, the environment, moving away from home, greater Houston area. I know that means an awful lot to you being uh, now in the greater Austin area. How was all that gone for you, all that adjustment? Uh, it's a big adjustment, especially coming from high school. Uh, college is much faster, and um, you got to be much more efficient as well. So I just try not to, like, think too much or try not to, like, get outside of myself because it, that's, that can be a lot easy, um, easy to do. But... I just try to stay stay confident and then just keep doing what I do. You, uh, I know, have a, a great deal of uh, pride in where you grew up, in the greater Houston area. Exactly. And uh, I thought about all you guys who were from the Houston area when the Longhorns had that exhibition game against Texas A&M, the fundraising yes. for Hurricane Harvey relief. What did that mean to you get a chance to go back and, and play in your area? Uh, that game mean a lot because a lot of um, areas was damaged in Houston. And um, for me, it wasn't as bad. My family made it out okay. But a lot of areas and a lot of people were damaged. So it mean a lot to go back and play in Houston in front of, in front of Houstonians. That it, it, was it also because you're from the greater Houston area? How important was it for you to stay relatively close to, to your hometown area, 170 miles or so uh, from Houston, to, uh, because you were recruited by a lot of different places sure. instead of going away somewhere far away to stay within a reasonable driving distance of home? That was big for me because, I mean, just like you say, I was recruited by other places, but I felt like Texas was the best for me, and for that place to be right down the road was great. What uh, do you look at as being the important things that you want to develop it, it going forward with your game and as, as a student athlete overall? What, what, what's the next level for you on the things that you want to achieve and accomplish? Uh, I would just say being more confident and um, taking a bigger role in the team. I know that a lot of uh, freshmen, they get frustrated and they get uh, – they get heated because they they not they don't embrace their role coming in, and I feel like now I embrace my role and I know what I have to do day in and day out, and it's just keep keep. Keeping on doing that and just embracing it and getting better at this. Co me. Coach Smart talked about the fact that you shot a lot of uh, threes uh, when you were playing high school basketball. Are you comfortable with that? I mean, is that something, or, or is that something that you have to continue to work on as a, as a collegiate player? Uh, in high school, I was very comfortable with it, but <laughs> since, I, <laughs> since I got here, I've been struggling, and I don't know if it's like the distance or it's just me coming to college in confidence, but. I just feel like uh, if I keep working day in and day out and keep shooting the ball, that eventually that they will go in. So. And, and, and I know the coaches obviously want you to, to rebound and play defense. Last night when you entered the ball game, uh, what with the foul difficulty and ultimately players fouling out, uh, you went in, got a big rebound late in regulation. What goes through your mind in that situation? You said, try not to think too much, but what are the things that you do zero in on when you go out there? Just uh, one of my position coach, Coach Horn, got a big thing on GTB, and GTB stands for grab the ball. So when I go in, all I think about is just grabbing the ball and helping my team in the best way I can. Describe that uh, working with Coach Horn. We've, we've heard uh, Obama talking about it and several of the other guys, the, the bigs, talk about what, what that relationship is like with Coach Darren Horn. Oh, uh, it's great. You know, some days he, he get on you and he get on you hard, but he just wants the best out of you. And that's along with all the other coaches on the coaching staff. But Coach Horn is a—he's a big competitor, and he can tell that he really cares about you as well. Is, is he a, like a real mentor to you guys? Yeah, I would say he's a mentor, and he—he—he he, he give us a lot of feedback in the right places and in the wrong places. He never tell us what we want to hear. He always gonna keep be truthful with you. All right. So when you have a big moment in a game with a big rebound or something like that, a, a big moments. Who are you more excited about pleasing, Coach Horn or Coach Smart? Uh, Coach Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer there. All right, Royce, thanks for the time. Appreciate you dropping by. Thank you. All right, uh, Royce Ham Jr. with us. Coming up, uh, Shaka Smart rejoins us, and uh, we'll take a look and update you on a couple of things. But Longhorn Weekly continues here on the Longhorn Network and the Longhorn IMG Radio Network.